Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Maweja family. It's your girl, Fresh. And it's your boy, Rogers. Yes, guys, as you saw into today's title, we are going to be discussing with you guys five things Uganda does better than Zimbabwe and South Africa. Yes, guys, we are not here to compare these countries, yeah. but we are here to show you five things that at least Uganda does better. Because for me, I'm a Ugandan and I've been in Zimbabwe before. But also my wife has been to South Africa for almost four years yes. and she's a Zimbabwean. So we are here to give you these five things. Yes, guys. So if you are ready for this video, make sure you like this video, guys. Subscribe to our channel if you are new. If you are a returning subscriber, we love you so much. Thank you for your support. Let's get into the video right away. So guys, the first thing that Uganda does better than South Africa and Zimbabwe is in terms of food. Guys, Uganda has plenty of food. By the way, I don't know if there's any country with so much food than Uganda. Variety of food. There is a lot of food in Uganda yeah. than in South Africa and in, in Zimbabwe. Yeah, in fact, uh, as you see, when you go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. you know what happens? You have been to a restaurant before. Yeah, what by happens? the way. Tell people, what happens in Uganda? When you go to a restaurant in Uganda and you tell them you want food, Mm -hmm. They will ask you, what do you want? Do you want everything or you want a specific food? If mm -hmm. you want everything, if they tell you a plate is 15,000, mm -hmm. they will give you everything they have in one in plate. One plate. Can I have imagine? never seen something like that, guys. Yeah. Food is so much. But in Zimbabwe, if you go to a restaurant, you just tell them what you want, rice and chicken. They charge you. If you want also beef now, mm -hmm. that's another man. If you want potatoes, that's another man. Even in South Africa, if you go to, to a restaurant, you want food. You just mm -hmm. tell them what you want. I want this and this, rice and chicken. Mm -hmm. Once you start adding things that you didn't plan, they charge you, they charge you more money. Mm -hmm. But in Uganda, if they tell you a plate maybe is uh, 10 US dollars, mm -hmm. You, you tell them you want everything. They'll give you everything they have on in one, one plate. plate. They give you matoke, uh, posho, that is kaunga, sasa, mm. sima. They give you um, chicken. What, chicken. They, they give, give you a lot of things rice. on one plate. Like they give food. you even fruits, vegetables. They, they give a lot you of everything things. on one plate. So it is up to you to finish them or not. Or not. So I've been in Zimbabwe. Uh, you find that if it's Saza, they give you Saza, just the Saza and chicken. Mm. Uh, for me, I've always disturbed them that <laughs> put a small Saza and a small rice, so they still charge you a different amount. A different amount. <laughs> but here in Uganda, it can be like seven types of foods. In one plate. In one plate. For the same amount. For the same amount. Yes. So Uganda does better in food in variety. Of food variety. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yes, guys, the second thing that Uganda does better than South Africa and Zimbabwe is easy transport within town. Yes. Guys, here we have one of the best transport <laughs> means. It's called the Boda Boda. Boda Boda, these are motorcycles. So if you, for example, Uganda is a bit congested, mm. you know, and there is a lot of traffic jam within town. But if you want, maybe you are, you are late, you want to go at your workplace in time or whatever, you can just border, border, border. Even if you have so many stopovers mm. in town, within town, and it doesn't matter how congested it is, the border, border will take you there. Yeah. But what I've seen in Zim, I'm sure she can tell better <laughs> what happens okay. in Zim and South Africa. In Zim and South Africa, let me start with... By the way, both countries. Mm. In Zim, if you want to go to a bus station from your home, mm -hmm. if you don't have a car, mm -hmm. you you walk to the bus station. No you matter reach, the distance. No matter the distance. Wow. After reaching there, you board your taxi or your bus. Mm -hmm. After reaching town, if you want to do errands. Mm -hmm. In Zimbabwe, you do your errands moving around. If you buy things here, you carry them. Sometimes you leave them there. You go downtown, you go uptown. Then you take your things again to the rank for you to go home now. Mm -hmm. But in Uganda, I saw that it's different. In Uganda, mm -hmm. even if you buy something at this shop mm -hmm. and you feel like you want to go to downtown mm -hmm. to buy something, you can just get a, a motorcycle. They carry you, they go with you. You buy that things, you also want to go somewhere, no matter how short the distance is, yeah. they can take you there. Even mm. in South Africa. Mm. In South Africa, of course, there is Uber. 
Mm. But Uber, most people don't order Uber six times yeah. in town because they're just doing shopping. You shop here, you go out, you ask Uber, you, t you take your things, you go down there, ask Uber. That's so expensive. Yeah. So people tend to shop around. Once they're done, they order Uber, they go home. Yeah. But in Uganda, it's different. In fact, what you didn't know, mm. here, apart from motorcycles, border, border, even bicycles here. Hey, I know you have yeah. not sit on a bicycle before. I <laughs> sit. <laughs> but <laughs> there are bicycles here that it does border border on some routes if if he is a Uganda knows. Yeah, so it's I can't it's, try it. Uganda does better in terms of easy transport because mm -hmm. there is few times where you can walk because everywhere there is a border border that is waiting for you to take you from one place to another yeah. from another place to another from another place to another and it's not that much expenses it's not everyone can afford a border border so that one that point that thing mm. south uh, uganda does better than south africa and zimbabwe yes guys so moving to the third point also, one thing that Uganda does better than South Africa and Zimbabwe is their customer service. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've never seen a country with so much good customer service than Uganda. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about my experience in both countries because you realize in Uganda, you can go buy your potatoes. Mm -hmm. After buying your potatoes, you tell the person selling, can you peel for me? Mm -hmm. And they'll peel for you. For free. For free. <laughs> they don't add any amount for me. They don't you. add any amount. Even if, chicken. Mm, if you go buy your broiler, someone mm -hmm. is selling broilers made on the side of the road or what? Mm -hmm. You tell them, I want this broil these two broilers, but I want you to slaughter them. I want you to pluck them. They even have water, water ready. Mm -hmm. I want you to pluck them and you, you remove the intestines and everything. You give me a fully made chicken. They do that and for all that free. services for free. Can you for imagine? Free. So Uganda has the best customer service. Not only that, a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. But there, I was actually shocked when I visited one of our supermarkets around here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's everywhere, but in Uganda, the supermarket I visited, mm -hmm. you enter the supermarket, mm -hmm. they you take because most of the times in South Africa and Zimbabwe, you just pick your trolley, you start shopping your things. But the supermarket I went around where I stay, they even hold the the the, the what the was the trolley for you or the basket for you. Uh -huh. You just move, picking things, putting, and they are moving with you. You see, <laughs> you that's see. another level of customer service I've never seen. Yeah. So it's so different, by the way. Uganda does it better. I'm sure service. because of the competition that yeah. is existing in Uganda. Because that's true. most of the people in Uganda they are doing small small businesses mm -hmm. everywhere. So the competition is much. It's too much. If you don't peel for me here, some your neighbor, your neighbor has the same peel. things who peel for me. Yeah. If you don't slaughter for me the chicken, I will go for it to your neighbor and your neighbor will peel for me. But I saw in Zim, by the way, mm. uh, when I when I came to Lo, for Lobola, I, I went to buy some food somewhere mm. in Zimbabwe. But, you know, I went for, for takeaway. Mm. So they packed for me well. But even the small cavera, cavera is plastic a, a plastic bag. Someone, because they had given me one cavera, so I wanted another to put at least sauces so there. Said, what so the guy said no. <laughs> <laughs> until, until I was like, no, you have to give it to me. By the way, when my husband came for Lobola, the way he was disturbing the guys in that place for caveras and eating soup. So Because uh, Ugandans, they love soup. <laughs> yeah, and, and me soup. You know Ugandans, we, ha we love so much soup, more <laughs> soup. So the guys in Zimbabwe, they, they were just, just putting a they, soup. Just a small, small. I ah, said, no, yeah. this is not for me. I was actually <laughs> shy, guys, by the way, in Zimbabwe. These guys, they were disturbing the people in the restaurant. I'm like, eh? <laughs> but it wasn't disturbing, of course. We are asking for a better service. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that was not Uganda, remember? <laughs> so yeah. one thing that Uganda does better than South Africa and Zimbabwe is their customer service. Yeah, it's great. Yes, guys, the first thing that Uganda does better than South Africa and Zimbabwe is the operating hours, like working hours, mm. mostly for businesses. In Uganda, that's where you find by 12 midnight, shops are, still are open, open yeah. and they are operating. There are restaurants that work 24 hours, hours here in Uganda, and you can get anything you want at any time. Mm. But I've, I've suffered in some countries where maybe you, are, you, you, you had worked so hard 
and it is too late you want something to eat but you can't find it because it is too late and the too late is like maybe seven, seven eight, eight nine you know That's so nine you don't expect a lot of options in countries like south africa and zimbabwe i'm sure yeah that's true that's true by the way for me when i was in south africa uh most shops standard supermarkets and what what mm -hmm. they close around 6 7 pm mm -hmm. others even 4 5 6 7 pm mm -hmm. it differs with the areas where i was staying uh they were closing a bit early even before you see some shops they are closed mm -hmm. which means even if you know there are circumstances where you ate but around 8 p.m., 10 p.m., you start feeling hunger and you want to get food. You can't get it except if you are to cook. Now she's talking about herself. Because even when she eats at 12, she disturbs me that I'm hungry. So... <laughs> at least I know if I tell him I'm hungry at 11 or 12, he can actually go like two minutes up the market, get me something. There will be people who are still buying meat. There will be people who are still doing some things. Yeah. Some shops are still open. You can get me anything to eat. But in Zim and in what, people are even scared to move at that time. Yeah. Mostly if you don't have your own personal car. Yeah. People can't just move at that time to go. For yourself, it is even harder as yeah. well. So Uganda is very better in their what, operating, operating hours. hours. Yeah. Now the last thing, guys, we are going to talk about that Uganda does better than Zimbabwe and South Africa is electricity mm -hmm. talk about it by the way <laughs> electricity in uganda you know i was in south africa for four years mm. and load shedding started when i was there yeah so we were so used we get so used to that in a day you electricity a mm, we have a timetable for load shedding electricity can go in the morning mm -hmm. can go at this time maybe two hours three hours we wait for it it was now becoming normal mm. so when i come to you when i came to uganda you can spend the whole day, electricity is there, mm. many days. Electricity mm. mostly goes when, when there is rain. When it is raining. Yeah. Mostly when it is raining or when there is a fault. Mm. Electricity don't just go just like that. Yeah. That's one thing I've realized in Uganda. Yeah. So even in Zimbabwe, mm. Zimbabwe also has electricity challenges. In some areas, okay. most of the areas, electricity is a challenge. But I found that Uganda on electricity really is so better. Yeah, truly. Uh, maybe we faced those challenges long time, years back. But now at least uh, Ugandans, I'm sure you, you can support me on this, that electricity problem is not that much. Uh, except there is a fault or a rain Z and so on. But going normally, no, not that much. Except in villages, people who are living in villages in Uganda, I don't have much experience on that but maybe they might experience that. Mm -hmm. But in countries like Zimbabwe, where I've been, uh, you find South that Africa. it is too, so normal for electricity to go every time. Yeah, you know people get used mm. by the way. When load shedding came in South Africa, really it wasn't easy, guys. Yeah. Shops, they had to adjust. Fridges, those who were selling meat and what, what, they had to adjust. It wasn't good for some time, but people start accepting, yeah. accepting, accepting, or until it becomes normal. Yeah. So Uganda, real on electricity, it does it better. Yeah. Yes, guys, as we said in the beginning, we are not here to compare countries that Uganda is better than South Africa or South Africa is better than mm. Zimbabwe. No, we are not here to compare. In fact, we just identified a few things that we think, at least Uganda does better than these three countries, but we believe there are things that Zimbabwe does better also. Mm. There are also things that South Africa does better. Of course, South Africa is one of the one richest of the countries. Richest developed in, by yeah, the developed world. and richest countries in Africa and in the world as well. So Zimbabwe is also has its, its own, own good great things. things. So we are not here to compare. In fact, if you know some of the things that Zimbabwe does better, please put them in the chat. Yes, or if South you Africa. know what South Africa does better, please put them in the chat. So we are not here to compare. We just brought you these five things that Uganda does better. By the way, I'm sure we'll do another video of what South Africa even does better than the two or what Zimbabwe does better than the two. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do another video. So it was it was in the comparison. We're just trying to bring out what Uganda we have seen. It does better than the two. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, guys. 
say hi, support us, we love you. See you in our next lit video. Mm.